Hello everyone, my name is Tariq and today we're going to learn how can you make your own cloth effect. So in this video, I'm going to show you the character that you can create as beginner or you can uh, separate your avatar to be a cloth. So I use a VR chat for this tutorial for some beginners if you don't know about 3D modeling and you just started with Effect House. So this website will help you make your own cloth. And we're gonna use a uh, Mixamo to animate the character. So uh, this website, like you can um, easily, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So you can easily go and create your own character. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna choose like uh, male or female, the body type. I'm gonna choose male. You can add a picture so it can make an avatar same as this picture. Let's choose anyone. Okay, then you can see uh, there is some cloth you can use over here. So there's a lot of cloth. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use that one, okay? This suit with this uh, helmet. So let's go ahead to Blender. I have already imported the character over here. So what you need to do is just go ahead and delete the armature as we usually do. And now we have um, the character over here, but it's just one mesh, like it's just one object. How can we separate it so that we can remove the head and the hands so it can be a cloth, just a cloth, not just an avatar. So that's easily, we can like select um, all the, the character over here and go to edit mode and then go to mesh and go to separate by loose parts so it's gonna separate it to many parts so what you need to do is um, go to the head and I want you to uncheck the head and the hands okay this is the head and these are the hands second hand and this one and here the shoe we can uncheck that as well uncheck and uncheck that okay now we uncheck um, the shoe and um, the hands and the head so I'm gonna see some details for the face we need to delete it as well like that delete and delete this part and I'm going to delete that so it's not bothering uh, the neck Okay, that one, that one. So now we have only the outfit. Now it's separated to many parts, as you can see here. After doing that, what you need to do is um, go ahead and select all these parts. So we have unchecked the head and the, and the arm, so it's not gonna select it with us this time. So go to object, Go click uh, join. So it's gonna join all the objects together right now. So it's it's only now one part. And you're gonna see so many objects here, it's unchecked. But once you are checked it, you can check the head, sorry the arm, then the second arm, then you're gonna see the head. So we're going to uncheck the outfit from here. And now we have the head and we have the like the shoe over here. Okay, what you need to do is uh, now select all of these parts, okay, and go to object, sorry, I'm gonna just select it, okay, select that, and that, and this as well, and click join. So now you have the outfit over here, and you have the head and the arms and the shoe in different um, object so that's all we have and we have the helmet over here so now I want you to double check if all of these objects scale is 0 0.5 okay let's just change the scale 0 0.5 0 0.5 this is the first part I'm going to the second one 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay let's go to the last one which is the helmet 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay we are perfect now okay guys so I end this tutorial early so I forgot to show you how can you separate like if you want the pants to be in different material and to be in different object 
so let's just uncheck all of these and go ahead and select all of these again and um, let's go to edit mode choose all of these then mesh and separate by loose parts so let's go to the pants this is the first one okay and this is the second pants and then let's go do the same the same thing I go to object and one second go to object and join okay now we have um, the pants over here let me just check it and choose it like that then go to object and click join click click uh, on shift and select that and select that then go to object join so now we have the outfit and we have the pants um, that you can apply to the pants different material and different color so guys enjoy the tutorial so we have um, three objects right now let's now select all of these and go to file export as fbx let me just name it over here and choose selected object from here and export fbx now we are going to mix ammo and to auto rigging this character upload character over here select character file okay here's the character file okay as we know that effect house skeleton load the maximum count is 50 so we need to change it from 65 to 49 so we can apply our character in effect house so after auto rigging let's go to animation to double check if the character animation working perfect so okay now it works perfect let's delete the animation click download download and now let's go to effect house and create a project okay now we have our project go to add object AR tracking body avatar drive okay now let's drag, uh, drag uh, the character over here to the asset panel click import and just give it some time to import okay once it's ready I'm gonna just import it over here oh sorry drag it over here and then don't do anything on the body avatar like don't uncheck that make it checked over here so what you need to do is click on the character over here and click here go to the skeleton and gender root and remove the animation from here so now you have your character uh, following the body position so we have one miss things which is the textures you're gonna go ahead to blender okay and then what you need to do is going to I guess it's um, the UV editing okay you're gonna see the texture over here go to image and click save as let me just uh, name it over here okay save as then let's just go to effect house add asset import from computer okay so the file size is exceed one megabyte it's, it's not a problem I'm gonna go to tiny PNG and just compress it from here I'm gonna see it like in kilobytes yeah and now drag it here let's go ahead to the material so the first one is for the I guess it's for the helmet let's just put it over here and the second one for the body okay so if you want uh, the normal texture you can also find it in blender you can go over here sorry from here and you can choose uh, normal so if you want um, to be the character in material me be more uh, realistic so I'm gonna bring that to image save as so I guess the size is going to be much bigger maybe let's double check import okay that works fine let's go to normal and apply the sticker and let's change okay so now we we still see uh, like um, the hands and the helmet 
you can easily remove the helmet by uncheck that and you can see the head over here and the hand still over here so how can we remove this so it's called be um, a cloth uh, effect so go to material choose occluder and then go to the to the object that for the shoe and for the hand and for the head as well okay and change the material to occluder material so now you have your own um, cloth effect so it's gonna show you show it to you like that like it's not the same as the size but once you submit your effect it's gonna work perfect on the body I'm gonna show you an example video that I sent to, to my phone I hope you guys like this tutorial thank you everyone for watching can't wait to see your cloth effects Thank you.